to my groom. Well, Tommy, we made it. Can you believe we, got, we are getting married today? I feel totally overwhelmed, yet completely ready to be your wife. The last seven years of my life have been amazing because of you. We've come a long way since, we've come a long way since that first meeting in the, in the Hancock. I love thinking back to those young wild days. I think it's so special that we've grown up together and shared so many memories through different stages of our lives. I'm so grateful to all of our experiences. I am so grateful for you. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you do for me and our beautiful girl. I never thought I would find such a supportive, loving and generous. Now, it's rare that I will admit to it, but you are a true gentleman, Tom, and I love that so much about you. Stevie and I are so incredibly lucky to have you. I know your grandparents would be so proud of the man you have become. There's 10 reasons I can't wait to marry you. There's no one I'd rather spend my time with. You couldn't have just wrote a letter, could you? Head scratches. <laughs> I do give a good head scratch. You're my companion. You're the best mother to our daughter. Because I love you. <laughs> because I've got to lock it down. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be overly soppy. Mm. Because of your sense of humour. Because you're my soulmate. And because of your love of food. <laughs> All very true. You are truly my best friend, my biggest supporter, and my go-to person for everything. I am so glad I found you to share life with. I can't wait for what's to come. Seven years, two houses, three animals, ten holidays, several lockdowns, and a baby, and now it's time to say hi to. Love you so much, Tom. I can't wait to finally be your wife. Let's make today the best day of our lives. Meet you at the altar, Mr. J. All my love, your, your bride. Now, has anybody actually thought long and hard about this word love? It's only a tiny word, but my word, how powerful is love? It's changed the course of history, and it's calmed monsters, and it's driven strong women mad. It's fueled national scandals and it's made mincemeat of kings. But that tiny little word love is what's brought Tom and Natalie here today. A very, very important word. Your job today is to make lots and lots of lovely memories. Memories that you can share with them both in their future lives together as husband and wife. So do you, Tom, take Natalie here present to be your lawful wedded wife, to be loving, loyal, and faithful to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. And do you, Natalie, take Tom here present to be your lawful wedded husband, to be loving, loyal, and faithful to him for the rest of your lives together? I do. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Natalie Alice Stutchbury, to take thee, Thomas David Johnson, to be my lawful wedded husband. May we look to our future together with hope, happiness and joy, and remember in this day, never allow anything to destroy the feelings that we share for each other. So Tom and Natalie, today is the start of a new life here together, and we hope that the feeling of love that you obviously have for each other now will grow even deeper and stronger as the years go by. I am delighted, therefore, to declare you are now husband and wife, and you, sir, may kiss your beautiful bride.
printed my uh, speech prohibitively small, so if I uh, trip up, that's why. First of all, for my wife and I, um, thank you all very much for coming. Um, I know we're a bit out of the way, and a lot of people have had to travel from far and wide to be here, so we really appreciate it. Um, as you all know, we were set to be married in 2021, and after what feels like absolutely forever, um, the day is finally here, and the ceremony is flown over. One thing we didn't originally plan on our 2021 date that was put off um, was to have our beautiful little girl, Stevie. <laughs> At our wedding day, and she's without a doubt the best thing, oh, well, she's stuffing her face with a slice of toast. Uh, the best thing that have ever happened to us and having her here today makes it even more special. Tom and I have had the pleasure of sharing some amazing memories, travelling far and wide, from shooting automatic weapons in Budapest, partying hard in the super clubs of Ibiza, to cruising through one of the natural wonders of the world in Vietnam. Not to mention our biggest adventure yet, as we both became fathers in the, in the last couple of years, it's fair to say it's been a blast with you, pal, so thank you. <laughs> when Tom met that, it was clear he was smitten. I was actually surprised that he found anyone at all. I always thought that Tom would die cold and alone, and I'm happy if... <laughs> But I'm happy to see he found someone that can look past his flaws and his heartless nature. So well done, Nat. You've done a cracking job so far. This loving, this loving touch from Nat seems to have changed Tom. As I've seen a side to him I never thought existed. He even smiles sometimes. Please be upstanding and raise a glass to the newlyweds. To Tom and Nat. Cheers. share a brief sort of rundown of how me and Natalie ended up here today and hopefully the sort of recollection of these events is about the same for, for both of us. <laughs> so I first met Natalie in 2013 and we were in a pub with friends, uh, was it the Hancock? Yeah? And I distinctly remember uh, Natalie's block fringe, <laughs> a loudness, Ooh. and the fact that she was the most jolly sounding person that I'd ever met. And two of those things remain true to this day. We crossed paths a handful of times over the next year or so and kind of stayed in touch. And generally by staying in touch, I mean, I would text Natalie and she would maybe reply two or three days later. Um, in 2014, we went to a gig with friends and after what I thought was a great night, um, I went for it the next day. Um, and I asked Natalie if she would like to go to, um, for food sometime, just the two of us, to which she declined. <laughs> about eight months later, a, a switch must have flipped and she finally came to my senses and <laughs> here we are now. <laughs> to my bride. I think you'll all agree that Natalie looks absolutely stunning today. <laughs> you genuinely took my breath away when you walked down the aisle, and I did write that in my speech, but I absolutely mean it, and you absolutely did take my breath away and made me cry a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> today, I am lucky enough to marry my best friend and the best mother to our little girl. best friend and the best mother to our daughter that I could ask for. We've, we've done so much from our travels around the world to raising that little girl. Um, I need to stop mentioning Stevie. <laughs> well, she stuffs her face. Yeah. No. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm nearly done. Uh, I can't wait to continue the journey with you and also to go on holiday tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for all the effort you've put in to make today as special as it has been. Can everyone please raise a glass to my beautiful wife? Yeah.